Wait, why is that? Why is that smoking? That's a good question. We are Mo, Cormac, and Evie. Join us on our journey to build the plantable food trailer. In our final episode, we at last finish building our little trailer and get to begin the next part of our adventure. We hope you enjoy our trailer build part 12. We'll start this story a few months back. I am going to be prepping the trailer for painting, so it's kind of a job that I can do during the week while Cormac is working. So I'm just gonna be washing the trailer and sanding it a bit. It's hot. I'm trying to get this done in the morning, but it's already like, ouch, like 80 degrees. And there's bugs. I rinsed, brushed, and scrubbed the trailer to take off any grime and dirt that would interfere with us painting the trailer. Who knows how long it's been since it's been cleaned. I guess we'll see how waterproof this thing is. Getting a little nervous about it. So I just finished um, cleaning with very soapy water the trailer and kind of rinsing it off, drying it down a little bit, and now I'm about to sand it down. I'm gonna start on the roof, but I don't know if I can reach everything, so we'll see how that goes. Reaching the roof was a bit of a fail, so I decided to move on to the sides. Sanding the trailer puts tiny grooves in the paint to allow the next coat to better adhere to it. All right, I am super sweaty. That was a lot of work to sand that. I think I got my arm work out of it today. So I'm just gonna do a final clean of the trailer, a final rinse, might do some soap. I did a final rinse and Cormac arrived home for lunch. That's good. Thank you. It's better just being clean. It does, yeah. I was so Thank tired you. sanding it. I knew that you would be. We continued prepping the trailer the next weekend by taking off the old decals. I caulked any random screw holes and open spots in the side of the trailer, and Cormac wiped down the trailer with a strong degreasing cleaner as a final prep for the paint. See what it looks like when it's off. What do you think? I think I like it. Yeah. Yeah. We still weren't quite sure about the color, so we decided to go for painting the whole back of the trailer just to see how it looked. The back is painted. As much as it was so good to see the blue gone, after thinking about it for a few days, we ultimately decided this wasn't quite the right color and continued our search for the perfect plantable green. The next weekend, we started off by trying to straighten out our door. We're not sure what happened to it, but when we bought it, it came looking like someone tried to break into it with a crowbar. As we found out, someone may have done this to ensure the door actually closed, so we had to undo a bit of the work to make sure we could still close the door. It looks better. It does look better. Do you actually think so? I do think so. It does look better. The outside doesn't look better, but the inside looks better. All right, good morning. Today we are putting what we hope is our official color to the trailer. So the green up here, a fresh coat of white here, and uh, that's it. Let's get started. While Cormac painted, I continued taping up the trailer and sanding down and cleaning the wheels for us to paint as well. The paint we're using is automotive paint and dries very quickly, so Cormac had to work with haste. This paint is typically sprayed on, but buying spraying equipment didn't seem reasonable for us. All right, we are taking the tape off. It's a reveal. The serving side. What it's gonna really look like. Well, we still have to do the white, but this is the, this is the major one. I mean, yeah, this is a big change. Wow. That looks good. Yeah. Wow. Good. You can see here the stark difference in color between the last paint we tried and the new one. We're so glad we spent the extra time searching for a different color and went with a happier and more appetizing green. We are having a lunch of leftover 
Some of this, we just had some random leftover taco stuff frozen. Brown rice. Just opened a can of black beans. And this is our first homemade pico de gallo salsa from tomatoes from the garden, cilantro from the garden. And now this is the finished product. After lunch, we carried on. Cormac started on the white paint and I continued taping. Good job taping this one. It's raining. It does feel like it's raining. Should we get it in the garage? Probably. No. Alright, it started to rain unfortunately, so we are pulling her back into the chair, into the garage. Let's wipe it down. Like all of it? Yep. You didn't finish. Was it supposed to rain? Not, I don't know that it's going to do something bad, but I don't, I don't think it's a great thing. I think it's mostly dry. So the update is that we have brought the trailer back out, it stopped raining. Cormac, it's painted. Yeah, and Cormac did a lot of touch as well. The top is still blue, but uh, we ran out of white paint. But for the most part, it is painted. Yeah, it looks really good. I think it'll get people's attention. My sister Michaela picked this color up. Yeah, she did. We needed help. This is not our uh, forte. Our next work day, we added weather strip to our door to help seal it when it's closed. Ready for the hubcaps, huh? Shiny things. the wrong side? You don't know. I'm supposed to grease it first. Ah. Let's see. Oh. I think it just went on. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> I was like, don't tell me this is the wrong size. I do like a little hot rod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what we're doing is adding in two fans to, so we don't have to prop up the top for airflow in there because we need to keep the batteries cool. Yeah. Oh dear God. You okay? Yeah. What what happened? Oh, the person very much. Did it? That was messy. Oh, Do this. I'm covered. Baby's covered. Cormac cut out a hole on the other side as well and drilled some holes for the fans to screw in. You and your little three hundred parts are like this. What this thing? Yes. <laughs> You're like a little it? mastermind. How else did we do it? I don't know. That's the thing. What do people do? This wire is going to be getting linked up with the, the switch wire. And then as well as the other fan power wire is going to be linked up to the switch wire. And then the switch wire is going to go to the positive of the um, little switch kind of thing. I am wiring up this uh, voltage regulator so the fans run off of 12 volts. 
um, and the battery system is 48 volts. Mm -hmm. So we're connecting it right directly to the battery system. Fans can work even if the inverter is not on. Yeah. Cormac worked his electrical magic, wiring up the fans and adding an on-off switch for them as well. Should we do a test? Let's see, Let's see this guy. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Very nice. Cool, babe. <gasps> Wait, why is that? Why is that smoking? That's a good question. Can you tell us the conclusion? Uh, the conclusion? Yeah, I don't know. What, I don't know what, what the problem is. Um, Apparently, we don't need it though. I mean, it's it's nice. It's a nice thing to have. Um, we will want to figure it out, and once once this is done, then I'll I'll check all the wiring for this, and we'll take it from there. Ow! What? Why, why isn't there a guard here? <laughs> 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 <Come back. laughs> Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Finish this day by turning the fans around to the right way and removing the battery management system for now until we find out the problem. What are you doing over here, Mo? I'm, I'm doing the permitting paperwork and uh, I think about all this filled out and I just need to print off a bunch of forms um, that they require and hopefully going there this afternoon to drop it off and uh, hopefully I have everything. Can you believe it's happening? No. It's, it's happening. It's happening. So, so close. Fingers, fingers crossed. Hey everyone, we are back for potentially our final, final-ish weekend working on the trailer, which is insane. Uh, this week we were able to hand in all the pa permitting paperwork and pay for the permit, so that's all set. So now all we're doing is just putting a few finishing touches this weekend, and then we have our inspection next Thursday scheduled. So, and potentially have a, uh, an initial, uh-oh, you're just going to take down the camera, hold on. Oh God, hold on. <laughs> just, just slowly walking. <laughs> just totally unaware that she's about to destroy our camera. All right, um, but potentially the week after then, uh, starting with our first uh, gig, lunch gig across the street at Cross Point Tower. So uh, we're really, really excited. Are you excited? Yes. It's like, it's really feeling real. We gotta really put our heads down this weekend though and finish all the kind of final finishing touches. So we're gonna get to work. Yeah. First we cut out a long board that we plan to make into an outdoor shelf for customers coming up to the trailer. After a quick test fit, I sanded the board down to prep it for the coats of polyurethane while Cormac prepped the roof of the trailer for painting. Officially painted. Yeah, it looks really nice, Cormac. You did a good job painting that. All right, let's cross it off. All right, number one. Hey. Woo. Per the health code, we also needed to add a fire extinguisher and a paper towel holder for our hand washing sink. She's in. She's in. Let's do it. I am about to test the system just to see how much power we can pull. Okay. Without, you know, tripping the inverter or anything. So right now it says 72 watts is what being drawn, and so microwave, that guy, fridge, and the water heater will all turn on. So that's 1400 plus 1000 to 
2400 and that's like 1800. Let's say maybe um, close to 5000 watts. Which would be like a lot of stuff on all at yeah. once. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's possible. Alright, I'm gonna turn on this breaker. Yeah. Alright, so now it's 170 watts being drawn. And I'm gonna turn on the water heater. So here the fridge is on. Yeah. Just put it on to bake. 3,400 watts. Okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. We haven't turned that on yet. Okay. Oh, wow. 5,000 watts. 5,200. You were like right on. There we go. That's pretty impressive. Okay, so that was a good test. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's pretty. Because nothing shorted. Is that, is that what you were worried about? Nothing shorting? Um, yeah, just like a breaker, you know, tripping off. We also needed to test if the water heater would get our sink temperatures to 110 degrees Fahrenheit as per the health code as well. There's 110. Nice. Alright, so that test worked. Next was installing some lighting. We went with LED light strips that we placed along our ceiling trim pieces. Cormac prepared the strips of lighting, soldering them to wires that would string between the trim pieces. I removed the old screws from the front windows, cleaned and polished away the rust, and added shiny new screws. You can see the difference it makes. Then it was time to put up the lighting. Strong table. Give me one more. Do it. Crunch. Do it. Great. You hold that. Alright. You did it. You did it. Let's just attach this. Awesome. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty surprised that the measurements worked out. You did perfect. You did a great job measuring all that. I was like almost certain that I was going to be cutting it and re soldering. <laughs> right. Okay. And then... Is this the test? See if it goes on. Ready? Ooh, oh, that, that looks, looks cool. sweet. Oh, that looks really sweet. <laughs> wow, that looks pretty nice, actually. It looks like these things across the It looks life. like fancy. Wow, that's actually pretty nice. Yeah, it's real nice. Alright, so I have finished cleaning and putting in new screws, and I wasn't able to get enough screws to finish this window, but it's all clean, and we just need to buy this one and put them in. This window's done. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Amazing. Need a paper towel? Check. Bam. I'm gonna be afraid that I'm gonna ruin something. Or something what do you mean? Stop working. I'm just. Even just using the sink, I, like, I'm afraid to use the sink. I'm like, ooh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna work. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, I need to make pizza for Cormac for dinner, so I think I better get You don't need to. It. It's for you, too. It is for me, too. We are going to be back tomorrow and keep checking things off the list. This is good. This is good today, yeah. Beautiful day. Have this uh, part all printed, and we just put it right over this guy. Done. Covered. Three print and still wire cover. Yeah.
test the fridge temps. Ah, we yeah. did that last night. Next, we used a piece of scrap PVC board to fill in the space between the table and serving window. I held it in place as Cormac screwed it on from the inside. Next, it was time to put up our sign. After getting a sense of the positioning and where the brackets would sit on the window, we lined up the brackets on the sign in position so that none of the screws we were adding would interfere with the text or leaf design on the outside. Then we used the drill press to add holes for the bracket screws. The drill press wasn't able to reach um, this hole, so we're going to have to do that one by hand. Alright, another coat done on this guy, and I think it's pretty much done once it dries. And then we're just getting the uh, brackets on here. We then lined up and marked the sign on the serving window using my head as a shelf and pre-drilled the holes for the screws. We did end up having to bend one of the brackets slightly to help the brackets on the sign close. Ready for a test? Holds it. It's actually perfect. How'd I do? You did it. Look at that. Yeah. It looks really cool. Look at it from right there. Like with the, the, the sky behind it. Yeah, that looks sweet. Wow, that looks awesome. Yeah, it does. I'm really happy with how that <laughs> came out actually. This really looks like a food trailer now. It's crazy. Next, we drilled a hole for a long screw that would brace the sign while we were driving and keep it from falling down. Alright, I was just to Lowe's and then Home Depot to get longer screws because the one that we got, oh got were too short. Rubber washers and Clinic is adding these larger washers to the screws for the sign. That's all it now. Yeah, wow, that's a good job. It's not quite on, it's off. What? What could that be? Uh, a rubber washer and a wing nut and our sign was done. Next, Cormac added brackets to our shelf. We later added two more brackets for support, but wanted to get it up now to see how it would look installed. Wow, that's pretty good actually. Okay. Oh my goodness. That is what cool. the heck? You get it from here. It looks like a food truck. It's like a cool one. We added some screws to our signage and got to see our little trailer transform into something completely different. I think. Yeah. This looks like a food trailer. It's like. installed the, um, the vent here. I drilled holes and zip tied them just for now to see kind of what we need and just to have some storage. This probably won't be our, you know, final version, but it'll work for now. While I did the bins, Cormac installed fan guards on the inside of the battery box specifically for me. Cormac was at work 3D printing again for a brace for the microwave in the back. So this just kind of makes it so that it doesn't want to slide back. So. Okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, it does. Okay. What do you think? It's pretty tight. Let's put these up. That's fine. Okay. Nice. <laughs> you did it. You did it. 
We just couldn't help ourselves and decided to pull the trailer out onto the street to get a better view. That looks awesome. Woo! That's a real good start. That, that sign is actually Bomb. Really nice. You can read it from far away, yeah. actually. It's really it is sweet, yeah. I'm sure we'll like add little bits and bobs as we go too, to like, you know, like really just add more signs, but yeah, it looks sweet. It's really sweet. With our shirts, we ordered shirts, by the way. So that's gonna look Shirts, sweet. especially for this. <laughs> yeah, I got a maternity shirt. It's gonna say, eat more plants right on the belly. Okay, we did some stuff today. We didn't really record. What did we do? Well, for one, Mo cleaned inside here and cleaned all the windows and the floors. Um, so I caulked that and I caulked the screw holes. Oh, nice. The Cormac U. Oh, we also scrubbed and cleaned out these uh, drink containers like crazy. That was kind of open all day. Yesterday soaked them, Cormac scrubbed them down, soaked them again today, scrubbed them down again. Make sure they're nice and clean. Yeah. In the event of rain, we needed to find a solution for the gaps in the back of our box. We were stumped with what to use until now. We ended up using a shower curtain liner and cutting it down and um, securing it with the little aluminum angle iron. Um, onto the top here. And so, um, so we needed something that was like kind of flexible and not so. Yeah. Um, so yeah. And then, and then yeah. I just added a gasket on the uh, underside of this. So we finished putting on the extra brackets for the this guy right here. <laughs> the serving window shelf. Yeah, and uh, we put the sticker on, we put the other sign on, that's all we did, put the license plate, license plate. just yeah, a couple little things, and we put ready for the inspection tomorrow. I think, for the most part, I think there's not much else we can do, except wait and just see what happens, so. Yeah, I think, fingers crossed, knock on wood, we're ready. All right, we're smiling. That's good news. We got our, our um, we're approved to start surveying. I can't believe it. Yeah, it wasn't, happened. It wasn't too bad. No. It was. It was pretty Sean, chill. Sean was a, a nice guy. I think that we probably stressed out about it a bit more than we probably needed to. But yeah, but we have all our, you know, we we have everything like yeah. very, I think, well done. So yeah. I think that'll serve us well in the future. So. Yeah. Boy. Next step is to get cooking. Yeah. <laughs> now, we might actually relax this weekend. <laughs> yep. Celebrate. And then next week, potentially, we are starting up. So then it's going to be a lot of work doing that, yeah. too. This has been a long time coming. A lot of work, a lot of frustration, a lot of wins, a lot of, you know, setbacks. It's a good testament of our relationship. <laughs> Up until the up until the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, the stress. I'm done. <laughs> I know, I know. What are you doing right now, Mo? We are going to the site. I'm dying. I'm so nervous. Oh my god. First day. First day. Hopefully we remembered most of the things. We're all hooked up, ready to go. Let's go! Our first day was a memorable one with a few spots of rain, wind that blew our signs all over, and so many lovely people who came to support us. We barely had time to get our bearings before we had a line waiting for our plentiful food. There's a lot of awesome people who came out, like from not even from Lowell, and uh, came to support us, which is awesome. 
I, I felt bad, like I wanted to talk to people more, but like there's actually a rush <laughs> like when we first got here. And we're just, you know, I'm getting better at wrapping wraps, you know. Like I can make the food, but I haven't wrapped that many wraps before. So everybody just like wants, little logistics, wants, yeah. Everybody wants to talk to Mo, but all they can do is talk to Cormac. <laughs> You're fun to talk to. But, um, it was crazy windy. And like rain and like weird weather and yeah. But I would say this was a great first day. Um, I made a, a lot of extra food, so we didn't run out of any food, which was which was good. Now we're just cleaning up. Yeah. And uh, packing stuff away. And it'll be nice to have some some leftovers. Yeah. And uh, we are back in business. <laughs> back in business. We are in business. <laughs> Signing off. The yeah. Plantable Food Trailer Team. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching. Uh, we will be busy, like actually making food and selling yeah. it now. So. Every Thursday at Cross Point. Yeah. Uh, for yeah. lunchtime. Yes. Yeah, Eleven thirty to one thirty. <laughs> yeah. To find out where we'll be, visit our website and follow us on social media for updated menus and upcoming events. And as always, eat, eat more, more plants. plants.